Hi, this is Lee. Um, doing a video for Kristen who wants to know how to prepare a file to engrave a rubber stamp um, on the Glowforge. And so Kristen has a, um, a file that she wants to convert into a stamp and I have downloaded that and I'm just going to import it. I go to file import and here is the image and I'll say open and I'll say OK. All those defaults are fine for inserting an image. And so here it is, and uh, now what I want to do is I want to trace this so I have a vector image. If I look down here right now, it, it says image, and that means it's a bitmap. I want it to be a vector so that Glowforge can easily read it. So I will go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and this menu will open up, Trace Bitmap. I want to do Single Scan, Brightness Cutoff, and the brightness cutoff starts at 0.45. Um, and you can see if I do that, the image has to be selected. And then you say update to get a preview of what your trace is going to look like. And you can see it does not trace the sunshine. There's two ways I could go about doing this. I could either do two traces, one with a higher threshold and one with a lower threshold to get both of those and then combine them. Or I could just crank it up, crank up the threshold and see what it looks like. So I'll try 0.6, and you can see it's starting to trace the sun there. I'll crank it up more, 0.7, not quite there yet, 0.8. It's still looking a little ragged along the edges, so I'll crank it up a little bit more. There we go, and you can see if you go too high, it starts to um, add stuff. Let's see, it starts to look messy. So I think 0.82 was pretty good, maybe 0.83. And then I'll say OK to actually do the trace. And I can drag the trace off, and there it is. I can now um, get rid of the original. And if I click on the nodes tool with this, you can see that there's some extra nodes around the side where it traced the um, the edge. I can just click and drag and select those. I'll click and drag and select those and delete. So that's get rid of that gets rid of those. Now let's zoom in and look at this. You can go in and fix this however you want. I'm not really going to take the time to do that, but you could go in and fix these raggedy bits here. You could fix the ending of this to make it more square. I'm just going to go with it as it is. All right. So to make a stamp, basically what you want is you want the Glowforge to engrave all of the white space so that it eats away the rubber. It's going to engrave away the rubber. And these black spaces here are what we want to be the raised image that collects the ink. So. What I usually do is I like my, um, you could just do a square around it. Send that to the back um, by pressing end on the keyboard. And then, whoops, let's see. If I change that to white, then your stamp would look kind of like this. It, the Glowforge would engrave all of this blue space and leave the white space. Um, but I don't like to waste that much time in engraving because it takes the Glowforge a long time to engrave all of this. And especially if you find that your rubber needs to have a couple of um, sequential engraves, that's going to take that's going to add a lot of time. And then also with a stamp that's done like that, you'll find that over here on the edges, if you don't press down exactly exactly right when you're when you're um, making the image with the stamp with the ink on it, these corners will. Um, transfer as well. They'll get ink on them and um, transfer to your paper. So what I like to do is I like to make a, um, a shadow layer that's in the shape of what I want my stamp to be like. So I'm going to delete that box and it looks like I've deleted that but it's just white so I'll change it like back to black. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and duplicate it. Control D and then I'm going to do path outset and um, if you go to preferences, it's edit preferences and go to behavior steps. 
Um, I've got inset outset set to two pixels, one pixel. I'm going to change that to two and then just close this window. And then I'm going to change the color of that duplicate so you can see I've got a pink one on top and a black one on bottom. I'm going to send the pink one to the bottom by pressing end on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to do control and uh, zero, which is the keyboard shortcut for outset. I'm going to keep outsetting this until all of my little outset bits merge together. All right. So now that's going to be the shadow layer of our stamp, but we want it to be solid. We don't want these spaces in it. So I'm going to do path, break apart. That breaks it down into all of its shapes, and then I'm just going to do path union to put it all together as one solid shape. Okay, so now all I need to do is difference my um, image out from the background. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this pink layer. I'm going to say Control D to duplicate. I'm going to change that to turquoise and send it to the back by pressing end on the keyboard. I'll use that later. I'll show you what that's for. So now what I want to do is I want to take this image and subtract it out from the pink background shadow layer. So I select both of them and do path difference. Okay, so now you can see this is going to be what our Glowforge is going to engrave. It's going to engrave away um, laser away all of the pink parts and leave the white parts as a raised bit of rubber. So that would be good, but we also need um, a cut line around the stamp to cut it out. So that's where my um, turquoise shadow layer comes in handy here. I'm going to bring that one back to the top. Um, let's see. I'll just send the pink one to the back by pressing end on the keyboard. Then I'm going to take this one, I'm going to inset it just a little bit, and that is control 9. And that's sort of insetting that. Um, and then I'm going to change the fill to transparent by pressing X on the keyboard and hold down shift and do black for the outline. And that's going to be our cut line right there. So now if you were to um, import this into Glowforge, see make sure it looks right I haven't saved it um, control s sunshine stamp Let's see it here and then I'll upload it from our file Okay, so here it is, and assume I have my last picture in my Glowforge was draft board, but you would um, set this, it's going to be an unknown and uncertified material, and you'll just have to play around with the uh, settings for that, but this would be set to engrave and this would be set to cut, and then uh, it'll engrave your, um, your image, and depending on your rubber and what you experiment with, you might want to have it do um, more than one pass. Sometimes I do two or three passes for my stamps. And then this is just going to be cut, and then once it engraves all that, it will cut out around your stamp. And you might want to have it do that a couple times too, cutting rubber is kind of it's kind of tricky. Sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through and you can just kind of um, pull it out. It, it tears pretty easily once it gets that thin. So, okay, so that is it. And um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me.